Okay, so Dr. Bonson meets Dr. CDC in the stock market. Uh, David Bonson, our great friend. So besides the CDC, I'm just looking uh, on my iPhone. Apple demolished earnings expectations. Google demolished too. Revenues way up. Microsoft beat not as dramatically. The market winds up down 85 on the Dow. Does this CDC thing, David Bonson, have any impact on the stock market? No, it, it clearly doesn't. You got down 85 points on the Dow. We were down more earlier. Um, the NASDAQ has been the area that has actually benefited from some of the more lockdown-oriented stuff. And the NASDAQ was what really got hit today. At one point, it was down uh, you know, another percent, even worse than where it ended up closing on the day. Mm. I think that the market is totally, completely smarter than the CDC. That's what I think. Well, I have and no- it has been for over a year. OK, so that's way too easy, um, smarter than the CDC. But the Delta strain is a worry. Uh, some people are saying very low bond rates in the market indicates very big fears about Delta and its impact on the economy. What say you? Yeah, so I guess people were worried about Delta for the last 13 years uh, where we've had low <laughs> bond rates, right? Okay. No, listen, Larry, I think, I think that um, you don't want to take any of it lightly, but we do understand what's going on, that there isn't a surge in deaths or hospitalizations. Hmm. And in fact, even in the UK, the case growth has dramatically declined uh, by about 40 percent week over week. And so I think even Delta is about to lose uh, its headline status. But what we have right now is an economy doing well, and you do have some authoritarian concerns in certain counties, but none of it's backed by science and none of it is the market taking seriously. The economy and individual freedom, individual responsibility are getting through this just fine. So Mr. Market does not anticipate a shutdown because of Delta and the CDC. No, it doesn't. But, you know, the problem is on the margin, you could still end up seeing an impact where there's not a full shutdown, not lockdown, but just people having to wear masks inside again. And it keeps people from going back to work. Mm. It affects with the restaurant business. I was thinking of our friend Jim Murillo in Chicago. We don't want this stuff to happen on the margin. Mm. Well, all right, we'll see what happens. So far, so good. Earnings momentum, it looks strong. Tomorrow should be a pretty good day. Tech stock's still outperforming. See, folks, I told you, Dr. Bonson is much better than Dr. CDC, and Mr. Market is still a winner. So you'll buy the dip. You'll buy today's dip, Mr. Bonson. Hey, last word. Yeah, where there's where, where, where there's dips and values, we'd be buying. Intel dipped last week. We're buying some of that. And the last thing I'll say is the real Dr. Bonson was my late father, hmm. and now that was All the right. smartest guy I ever talked to, Larry. Dave Bonson, thank you.